In this lesson on making tables in HTML and CSS, I'm going to introduce the ideas of call span and row span. You'll notice in the table that I made previously, I have a head and a foot down here. I have four columns in the body, but I only have one column at the top and one column at the bottom. I would like these columns to go all the way across and cover the entire table. But normally, HTML will only allow me to have one column be exactly matching one column elsewhere in the table. So in order to make one column stretch across several columns, we need to have the call span. So I'm going to go into the T head. And this is HTML. This is not CSS. And in the T head, I'm going to go to the TD, or the table data. That's a column. And I'm going to create a call span attribute with the value of how many columns this should be. So right now, it's just one column wide, but I have in total one, two, three, four. So I want it to be the same width as four columns. So I'm going to say call span equals four. Now, if I save that and I reload, you'll notice that my top column now spreads all the way across the top. It spans four columns. I can do the exact same thing to my T foot, and I can make that one also have a call span of four. Save that, and now I have the same thing at the bottom. If I want, I don't have to make it four. I could make it two, and now you can see that it only spans across two columns. However, that looks strange right now, so I'm going to go back and make it four again. So that's how you do a column span. I have spanned the columns. Next, I would like to have one cell in one of the columns go down so that instead of having, let's say, four or five rows here, I could have one cell go through two or three rows. How would I do that? Well, this is called row span. Let me just uh, show you very quickly. If I take the first row in the first, uh, uh, in the first column, or the first column in the first row, and I add row span instead of call span, and let's make this uh, five, because I believe there are five rows there. So once again, I want to go down one, two, three, four, five. So I do row span five. I save that. And now when I come back, I reload. And now you can see that I've got one cell which spans five different rows. Now you see I also have a little bit of trouble here at the right because I did not delete these four, uh, these next four uh, table, uh, uh, you know, table cells, the TDs. Therefore, I still have four, uh, four uh, columns in each of these others, but I made this one go down. So now there's five in these rows and then only four in this row. So these are sticking out on the left-hand side. So how can I make that, how can I fix that? Well, there's two ways I could do that. I could just delete the TD from these four rows, or I could simply add a fifth column. So let me try uh, first to simply add a fifth column. So I'm gonna take away the row span from this TD that I had. So remember I have one, two, three, four columns in each row, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna add a fifth. So that means that at the beginning of the TR, I'm gonna say TD, and this one will have the row span, and I'll make that go down uh, five rows again. And I'm gonna have uh, my special uh, column, there we go. And now if we take a look, we'll see that I have my special column here. Now all of these are exactly the same. All of these rows have the same number of cells, but you'll notice we've lost the, uh, the, the head and the foot. That's not really a problem. I could go back and change the call span of the T head to five, and I could do the same thing at the bottom for the T foot, and now it all matches up. Alternately, what I could do, I'm gonna bring these back to four right there. Alternately, what I could do is that I could just get rid of one of the TDs in each of the other 
rows, excuse me, and that would shorten those other rows so that they would match quite nicely. And I didn't do it, excuse me, I didn't do it for the top row. So let me get that one out as well. And so now they match up. And now I've only got four uh, columns. Uh, and the first row has actually four, and the second, third, fourth, and fifth actually only have three. The row span is not something you'll be using so much. So if you're confused right now, don't worry about it too much. But if you do need it in the future, you'll want to look this up and try to figure it out. But the call span is something that you will be using from time to time. I will have it in exercises. So that's the call span and the row span.